Hi, this is Francis, and just wanted to chat with y'all today some. You know, as I mentioned, um, I am um, looking at making YouTube a part-time job, and will be eventually featuring some products, and definitely appreciate any support, any kind of sharing or subscriptions. But for right now, I just wanted to speak to you from my heart about some of the things that, you know, some of my thoughts, and hopefully build a community so we could share with each other and hopefully all of us you know you know we could uplift one another i hear a lot about body shaming and fat shaming and that kind of thing and i just want to give you a, a few thoughts of mine how i handle that now i've got this is a two-parter now because it's a big subject um the first what my first video is about is you know, how I would handle being fat shamed from a random stranger or somebody I really didn't have a vested interest on their opinion of me. I saw this video on a plane, of this lady on a plane that this guy was talking to his friend on the phone and he said something about her being fat and she went up and she started telling him things like, you don't know me, you don't know how hard I work, you know, I don't appreciate this, and go on, you know, it's kind of a long video. Me, if it was me, I was in the same situation, I'd keep it real simple. Listen, guy, I'm sharing you're sitting next to me on this plane. Basically, if you don't like the way I look, you don't have to look at me. But, if I'm going to sit next to you, you're going to be nice to me and respectful. And if you feel that you can't do that, I'm going to make a scene. And I'm going to demand that I be moved. So, you've got a choice right now. You can either be nice and respectful or, you know, I'll move. Again, I keep it real simple. Um, and... I get a lot because, you know, I struggle with my weight. I try to exercise and eat healthy, but, you know, it's a real struggle because I get depressed. I eat things I shouldn't, like we all do. So, definitely, that's one reason I want to share with y'all because, you know, we could all share tips and, you know, hopefully, like I said, make everybody's life better. Another situation that I get is, you know, because I have a big stomach, sometimes people will say, oh, when is your baby due? And I'll say, no, I'm not pregnant, I'm just fat. And then usually they'll feel mortified. I'll say, oh, no, don't bother. You know, don't worry about it. It doesn't bother me. And um, then if they keep saying, keep apologizing, I'll say, I'll make a joke. I'll say, well, at least you think I'm young enough to have a baby. <laughs> and I'll laugh and usually... Usually they'll, um, and I try not to let, you know, that, that doesn't bother me. Um, and, you know, I visit my, my elderly relative at her personal care home and she's got a lady that sits with her at the table. She'll ask me like 10 times, when does your baby do? And I'm like, no, I'm not pregnant. I'm just fat. And she's like, oh, okay. And then five minutes later, she'll ask the same thing. And I'll just laugh about it. But again, I try to make a joke if, you know, to, to break the mood a little bit because, yeah, hey, you know, at least you think I'm um, thin enough, you know, young enough to have a baby. I mean, I'm almost, I'm 56. So, and again, um, I, I think that the most important takeaway that I could say that I do personally is first of all, if it's somebody I don't have a vested interest in, you know, a random stranger, somebody that doesn't affect my life one way or the other, I don't take it personally. And, but I do demand respect. You know, if you're going to be disrespectful to me, you know, I'm going to, you know, like I said, I don't know if I'd cause a scene for the, for the guy um, on the plane, but I, hey, you know, it's not going to be pretty if, if, if you're ugly to me, because that's something, you know, um, I don't tolerate, you know, people can be respectful. They don't have to look at me, but they're going to be respectful. So again, I just wanted to share those thoughts with you. Part two will be, if it is somebody I have a, a, a vested interest, somebody that's opinion of me, you know, does affect my life. So 
thank you again for listening. And um, again, definitely appreciate you sharing if you find this helpful and also subscribing to my channel.